Hi, I'm Kath Elliott. I'm Health and Safety Representative for the Cranes and Rigging Crew here on the QCLNG project. And I'm Eric Smith. I'm the Health and Safety Representative for Mechanical. We're here today to talk about falling objects, how dangerous they can be and what we can all do to do our part to help stop the drop. We're all human and we all like to have a bit of fun and it's good to have a bit of laughter in our day. But something that's not funny is falling objects and the effect they have on employees and workers. Construction accounts for 17% of all work-related deaths. In a 10-year period from 2003 to 2013, 227 workers were killed from falling objects. Falling objects account for almost 10% of all workplace fatalities in Australia. Last year at QCLNG, we had over 52 dropped object incidents on site. This year to date, as of May, we've had over 37 incidents so far. This has to stop. A friend of mine many years ago was working on site and a boiler maker was lowering down 40 metres of welding cable and lost control of it, it wasn't tied off properly and it fell onto my friend who was in the basket of a JLG. Luckily enough, he was big enough to take the impact but it caused him terrible, terrible damage and nine years later he's still suffering and it still hasn't finished and gone through court. It affected him so much, he became an alcoholic. He became addicted to the drugs that they gave him for the, to manage the pain. His marriage broke down so they couldn't see his beautiful daughter and it was just hell. It was hell for him simply because of a moment's inattention by one person. Any object given enough height and the right conditions can become a lethal projectile. These items here have all been identified as potential dropped objects. These items have actually been part of dropped object incidents on site at QCLNG. All these items displayed and any others missed can be prevented. If everyone was a little bit more aware and thought about our mantra, stop the drop and consider the consequences. When you're out there on the work site, we need you to stop and think. Think about what you're doing. We all are human and we all have other things that we need to think about and things we need to do. But while we're here at work, just remember, try and focus on your job, on your task at hand. Assess the hazards, work as a team and really, really come together to stop the drop and think about the consequences. Stop the drop, consider the consequences. So we all know work's busy and you're often pushed by your employer and your workmates to get the job done, especially on major construction sites. We all know like they want them up and running as soon as they can. Um, but just remember that you've got a family to go home to. Other people have their families to go home to at the end of the day. And um, just try and be safe. And if there's a problem, tell your employer, tell your workmates. Speak so up. Speak up so mm -hmm. it can be fixed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we love our mum very much and we want her to come home every day and every yeah. weekend so we can enjoy time together as a family. Yeah. As her children, we've got our own children, so we want their yeah. grandkids to have their mama around yeah. and um, yeah be safe at work and your actions do have consequences not only for yourself but for other people and, their, a ripple and their family. Yeah. Stop, Stop the, the drop, drop consider, consider the consequences. consequences. Falling objects have an infinite number of scenarios. If we can get everyone to pause and consider the consequences on the work they are doing, together we will all be doing our part to stop the drop. Stop, Stop the, the drop, drop, consider the consequences. consequences.